My name's Eep, and this is my family, the Croods. We never leave the cave because of my dad's one rule. Never not be afraid. Ugh. But our world was about to change. Get to the cave! Hello, it's Stephen Pape here reporting for the fan carpet at the Empire Leicester Square, and we are at a special preview screening this morning of The Croods. Uh, it's obviously the new animation starring uh, Nicolas Cage, Emma Stone, and, and uh, various other sort of huge Hollywood names. And we're going to be hopefully speaking to a few of the stars that are uh, going to be attending this morning and finding out if they're looking forward to the movie, if they went back into their prehistoric era, what they'd most like to take forward, uh, take with them. And of course, it's Mother's Day, so we want to find out what sort of uh, family outing uh, they've got planned for today following this as well thank you looking forward to the movie today yeah really excited i've heard it's a uh, 3d as well so yeah it should be cool so do you enjoy 3d cinema what do you think about this kind of the, the new direction of, of cinema at the moment with the whole 3d stuff um well, i'll tell you a funny story actually i didn't realize until a couple of years ago i can't actually see 3d because i lost my sight in one eye and you know you can't see it without both focus but i think it's pretty cool like having you know animation as an adult film as well and it's not just for children so yeah have you got a favourite kind of animation or childhood uh, film that you most sort of uh, you most enjoy? Uh, we used to collect the Disney uh, videos when I was younger. And my favourite film was Aladdin, um, and we used to buy the sing along ones and sing along to all the music, like the Jungle Book and that kind of thing. Was the writer of this wrote uh, Aladdin, of course, as, as well. So does that encourage you before going in? I didn't actually realise that. Wow. Okay, that means I'll definitely like it then. Okay. Uh, so you've got a new show starting next week. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, it's called Secret Millions, and it starts this Sunday on Channel Four. Um, it's a four-part series. I'm only in one of them and we were given uh, two million pounds by National Lottery and then we went undercover into different charities uh, they thought we were making a documentary but we ended up donating the money at the end um, and mine was quite challenging because I worked in a prison with um, offenders so it's quite a, quite a different experience to me yeah and just finally how, how sort of enjoyable are these experiences particularly obviously on Mother's Day to bring the family out and go and see like a nice good movie in the morning I think it's really good um, it's something different and then we're going for lunch afterwards they're all standing waiting for me over there so yeah, I think it's a nice thing to do as a family, bring everybody together. So are you looking forward to the film today? Oh, very much, yeah, yeah. Don't know a lot about it. Obviously, I'm on a bit of a sleep learning curve as we go along. But um, we're, yeah, for, very much. There's a bit of prehistoric kind of uh, hunting gathering that's a bit right on my street. They'll be all right as well. <laughs> so do you think having young children is a nice excuse for the adults to come out and actually enjoy these films? Because it might be not as easy to see them without the excuse of, uh, of kids. Look... Uh, these are my favourite days out. I love the kids' films. You know, from compared to what they were ten years ago. It was about ten years ago when it sort of the, the whole genre started, wasn't it? it was a, then I don't see them as kids' films. You know, you sit there completely engrossed, good humour, you know, quality you know, images, and it's just incredible. I, I'm, I'm thoroughly entertained. I was set in a prehistoric age. How uh, important do you think your javelin skills would come in uh, back then? <laughs> I think I'd be all right, actually. I'd be, I'm not such a good shot. It goes a long way, but uh, I, could, I could probably creep up on the odd uh, the odd beast. I'd be all right. I'd be all right. We wouldn't go hungry. <laughs> and if you could go back uh, in time, what would be the one thing you'd most like to take with you? That's too easy. My spear. <laughs> I'd take a spear. You know, defence, hunting, food. Bit of a uh, kebab, you know, make a kebab for, for cooking with. Yeah, <laughs> a versatile weapon, you know. And just finally, you know, we're a few months on now, obviously, from uh, to the London 2012 Olympics. Have you noticed big changes in, in sport, particularly in your field? Yeah, I think um, it's changed the, the face of British sport forevermore. The expectation, certainly, for going forward. Um, I think also there's a lot of great, really great role models out there. You know, like, like Jessica Ennis, Mo Farah, Greg Rutherford from athletics, and then Bradley Wiggins, you know, Chris Hoy. You know, it's endless. Kath Granger. It was an incredible time to, um, you know, champions became legends, really did. Do you think that having uh, sort of young children is a nice excuse to, to get out of the house to come and see these movies? Do you think you would otherwise? Um, do you know what? I probably wouldn't get up um, in the morning to do it, um, but I'd definitely go and see the film. Yeah, I love watching you know, animated movies and children's films, but then I've got the perfect excuse as well. We have seen Madagascar about a million times because they watch it over and over and over again, so it's nice that they've made a new movie. Phew. <laughs> So, of course, um, it's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day. And then you've brought your own mother today, of course, you've got your kids here. <laughs> She's already inside playing with the <laughs> And it's quite, it's quite nice, this is quite a nice way to spend the day, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, it's really lovely. A big, big sort of naughty breakfast, lots of chocolate spread and things going on and getting ready and they're excited that they're having popcorn. The thing is, it's more like Children's Day than Mother's Day, but it's nice to see them happy. <laughs> so just finally, of course, if you were to go back to uh, the prehistoric age, what would be the one thing you'd most like to take with you? To back to the prehistoric age. What would be the one thing you'd most like to take with you? 
Gosh. Electricity? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> So Stefan Pape here uh, reporting for the fan carpet at the Empire Leicester Square. We've been to see The Croods this morning, which was a great, fun family adventure movie, which we thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, we spoke to a, a handful of, uh, of the celebrities attending this morning, such as Steve Backley, the former javelin thrower, uh, who uh, we spoke to about uh, his favourites of animations and obviously how do he think we think he'd fare as a javelin thrower back in the prehistoric age. We spoke to Sunita as well, the, uh, the model, finding out if she's enjoying her mother's day, she's with her kids and she's brought her own mother along and she was uh, really lovely to talk to and we also spoke to Katie Piper who's also here and uh, she was also uh, really looking forward to the movie she's a big fan of sort of old Disney movies so uh, she was really looking forward to what was in store for her today all in all it was a really good day and uh, we're looking forward to the next one thank you you need to leave immediately the world is ending prepare for a journey of prehistoric proportions I call them shoes DreamWorks The Crudes, 